All right, what's up guys? In today's video, I just have to stress that if you are putting any type of heat on the service valve, anywhere near a service valve, service port, and you've got a Schrader, you have to pull the Schrader. You have to pull the Schraders and you have to brace the nitrogen. You have to protect the valves with wet rags or literal wet rag heat blocking putty, something. You cannot, even if you're unsweating the unit, you cannot have, you can't have the Schraders in there or it's gonna melt that little rubber gasket and you're gonna cause people problems like me today so i wasn't going to record this video because it was just going to be a simple condenser swap out so i don't have any i don't have any clips of me brazing it in but every time i braze i take the shredders out and i braze the nitrogen so when i'm going to leak check this thing you'll you'll see what happens you'll see what happens stay tuned by the way once i do find that the leak is in the Schrader. I tried to tighten it because I was the one that took the Schrader out and then put it back in. So I was thinking maybe I didn't get it tight enough, but the, the Schrader was trash. I had to replace it, so. Do HVAC, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Why are we doing a condenser today? Can somebody explain that to me? This condenser install just turned into a leak check big time. Uh, I won't even hold pressure for 10 minutes. So they definitely hit it with the new brick, the new foundation they're doing. So, I mean, this is pretty stupid. And I was having trouble brazing yesterday and I thought the same thing was happening today, but it's not my braze joints. We know that for 100% fact. So we're going back to get a leak detector and uh, yep, that's life. And we're back to the mud pit. Yeah, we really need the mud pit. I'm not walking in that again ever in my life. So the leak's probably in right here. So we're gonna fill it up with mostly nitrogen and a little bit of 410A and use this bad boy. Find our leak, it's probably in there. And that's not gonna be fun to repair. A good amount of pressure on it. I'm going around my braze joints again. There's nothing. Nothing. I'm putting it up against the wall, in the wall. Nothing. So I guess I'll go check inside. It's a whole lot more muddy than it looks on camera. Believe that. Get some more pressure on it. See if we can actually pick up something. Let's go where I really think it's at, which is in here. Still not finding it. All right, now this is becoming quite frustrating. I can't find it anywhere. You've got to be kidding me. That's why you start at the basics. It's just the Schrader. All right guys, I just want to throw this clip in there because it doesn't make too much sense without the context, but when I'm brazing, I use the liquid line and I use one hose from my manifold, from the nitrogen tank, 
throughout the system and it comes out and it bleeds out the suction port where there's no Schrader. So whenever I'm done brazing and I'm going to leak check it, I'll either put my suction hose on or I'll put that Schrader core back in the port and tighten it down. That way I can do a proper leak check. This case, I only used the one hose when I was leak checking and I had the Schrader in the suction port tightened down and that's where it was leaking out. So if it doesn't make any sense, now it does. That's why you start at the basics. I really thought it was gonna be leaking in the wall. This is why, I mean the wall's new all the way up until right there, which is right by our line set. So we really thought it was gonna be in the wall. And it's in a straighter the entire time. Love that, love to see it. It's barely a leak too, anyways. Anyway. All right, we got it on the pump. I just now realized that I forgot my straighter core removal tool to pull the straighter right there, but at like 5,000 microns. I'm just gonna let it go. It might take a little longer, but I'm just gonna let it go. This was leaking the entire time. I mean, I pull my Schraders when I braze and I put it back in. I guess I could have, I know I didn't over tighten it. I don't know. Maybe there's something that I did when I put it back in, but regardless, that Schrader was trash. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna badmouth anybody, but I'm not the one who took this out. I'm just the one that put it back in and I brace with nitrogen and I pull my shredders. So anyways, we got it on the pump. Finally, we're gonna get started. It's been one heck of a day, let me tell you. Okay, we got it pumped down, isolated from the pump, 411. It's a nice vacuum. We got it wired up and we're gonna start it up, get our required sub cooling. I didn't look at the plate. Should be checked. Started up, pressures are looking good already. Evan's got his fluke meter out. We're gonna do the sub cooling, make sure it's 10 or at least close. 88 and 76 and a half. So that's 11 and a half. That's gonna be good. We're out of here. Right. So we're gonna take the gauges off the proper way. Okay, we're gonna close our ball valve. This is gonna hurt my fingers. Nope, no it's not. Okay, boom. So now we have liquid refrigerant all the way through this hose. So, hold that please. I don't wanna put it on the dirty ground. So we're gonna open that. It's gonna be closed, first of all. Actually, we can drain that too. We're gonna... Okay, okay, this is, you know what? I'm not editing any of this out. We're gonna close that, make sure those are closed, obviously so it doesn't bleed into the atmosphere. And then we're gonna open this. And we're gonna let it pull through our suction. And that's pulling the refrigerant out of this hose. Yep, so we're good now. We can close this. We can close this. I'll make sure these are closed so I don't do that again next time. Okay, now I'm gonna take this hose off. And we are good. All right guys, it's gonna do it for today's video. A couple things to learn here is if you're new here or if you're new to brazing, just learning, blah, blah, blah. Or if you've been brazing for a while and you think that your ways work, you have to pull the Schraders. It doesn't matter if you're unsweating a unit, it doesn't matter if you're unsweating a valve, unsweating this, unsweating that, or if you're brazing it in, you need to pull your Schraders and you need to braze the nitrogen. So that's a couple things to learn here. And another thing is do not get tunnel vision on one thing. I was fully convinced that the leak was gonna be where they repaired that wall right next to the line set. I was fully convinced. So that's where I was looking. We were looking everywhere. And the last place I check is the Schraders, of course. Not the last place, but about 20 minutes into the leak check and I'm like I should probably just check the Schraders because I'm not finding it at this point. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Peace.